and you're very welcome to this video. This is our second video in our series on economic indicators for Junior Cycle Business Learning Outcome 3.9. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to be following on from the last video about inflation. We're going to learn about what the causes of inflation are, the benefits of inflation, the uh, benefits of low inflation, I should say, the dangers of inflation is high in the country, and the impact inflation ha can have on individuals, business, and the economy as a whole. So to start off, Thinking about in, uh, inflation, inflation being the general increase of prices uh, from one year to the next, uh, what causes inflation to happen in an economy? So if you're going to pause the video, have a think about that, jot down your ideas and press play to continue on. So these are some of the things that cause inflation. There are more than this, though. So the increase in the cost of production. So in other words, the cost of actually making the good. If wages, uh, the cost of wages increase or the cost of raw materials increase, then the, there is uh, inflation. Another thing, uh, reason could be the demand for some goods is greater than supply. So if more people want to buy a particular product, but there isn't enough of that good available, then that may lead to an increase in the cost of that good, leading to inflation. Another for reason, for example, is the price of oil. If the price of oil increases, uh, that can cause an increase in the price of the goods, which can lead to inflation overall. The reason being that oil is used by many businesses either to actually produce the good or to transport the good uh, from the factory to the actual retail shop where the product is sold. So now what I want you to do is I want you to think of what the benefits of low inflation are to an economy. Pause the video now, jot down your ideas and you're ready, press play to continue on with the video. So, some of the benefits of low inflation in your economy. So basically, if the, if the general increase in prices is quite low in your economy, how is that going to benefit your economy? Well, more people have more money to spend, so therefore the economy is going to grow. Okay. Uh, new jobs are created, so unemployment, therefore, is going to fall. So think about it logically, folks. Okay. If the cost of goods aren't increasing a lot year on year, that means people are able to buy more goods and services. So therefore, if they're buying more goods and services, there's going to be more demand for goods. So therefore, shops and businesses are going to have to employ more people for this extra demand, therefore there's less unemployment. If more people are working, therefore they're going to be able to buy more goods and services than they were if they're on social welfare. So therefore the demand goes and there's a lovely little spiral like that. Irish firms become more profitable because their costs are lower. Well, think about it. If the cost were, uh, if inflation was high, then their costs would increase. Uh, for general, costs of production would increase. So, if the inflation is low, then their costs of production remain roughly at the same level. So that means they're able to sell their goods at the same price and be able to maintain their high levels of profit. The government therefore receives more money in taxes. Well, if more people are buying more goods and services, and if VAT is applied, VAT being value added tax, uh, which is a tax on goods and services, if they're able to collect more money in VAT, then happy days. Irish goods become cheaper to produce, so it'll be easier to sell abroad. If the rate of inflation in Ireland is low, uh, or lower than in other countries, then Ireland's goods become relatively cheaper abroad than other uh, goods produced in other countries. Now what I'd like you to do is think about what would happen if there was high inflation. So let's say the cost of living was to increase a lot year on year in a country. What would be the dangers of that for an economy? Pause the video now and when you jot down a few ideas and when you're ready, press play to continue on. So some of the dangers of high inflation. Well, if inflation is higher than other countries, Irish goods will become more expensive and it'll be harder to sell abroad. Another thing is Irish jobs will be lost and unemployment will rise. Well, think about that logically. If people have less, uh, if people are earning the same amount of money, but yet things are costing more in the economy, they're able to buy less stuff. Therefore, there will be less demand for goods and services. So shops and businesses don't have to have as many people employed. So therefore, they will let some of their staff go that they're not needed anymore. Therefore, those staff are now unemployed and getting social welfare, not a wage, so they're able to buy less stuff. And it's pretty much the same as we talked about before, except it's in the opposite, it's a negative cycle. The cost of doing business increases. Well, the costs of having your shop or your business open, your factory open, uh, would increase. So everything from the cost of wages to the cost of buying your raw materials to the likes, for example, let's say your heating and your rent, that all increases. Businesses will not make as much money and will have to increase their prices. If a business wants to stay profitable, they're, uh, they're going to have to increase their prices uh, because the cost of everything is going up. So therefore, they're going to increase the price of what they sell, which leads to higher inflation altogether. And basically, in short, people will be able to buy less unless they get a wage increase. 
So if you think about it logically, if let's say, for example, um, a person only buys chocolate moo juice, say, for example, chocolate milk, um, they, and a bottle of chocolate milk costs two euro, for example, okay? Um, and if they buy, want to buy five of them a day, then if the cost that goes up to 250, um, then they'll only be able to buy four of them instead of five of them. Because if let's say they're only going to spend 10 euro a day on Muju. So therefore they're able to buy less unless they get a wage increase. So they're able to get more money for the work they do. Now what I want you to do is I want you to think about the impact inflation has on individuals, businesses and the economy. So when I say individuals, I mean, say you as a person, as a consumer or your household, so to speak. Then what the impact is for businesses and then the impact for the economy as a whole. Pause the video now, have a think about that, jot in a few ideas, and when you're ready, press play to continue. So, the impact of inflation on individuals. Well, it reduces the individual's purchasing power. Purchasing power being the word that we, uh, the phrase we used to, do, to say, you know, your ability to buy things. Think about it, purchasing, buying, and power. So your, your power to buy things or your ability to buy things. So basically, uh, if we have high inflation or if there's inflation in a country, you're, you as an individual or your household can buy less stuff. Individuals tend to save less if inflation is high as the value of their money would decline. So if you think about that logically, okay, if the cost of living is increasing quite rapidly in your country, then you're not going to save money because then your money is going to lose value. You're going to try and spend it now because you know in a year's time that money is going to be worth less. So you're better off saving it now. Likewise, if inflation is low, you're more likely to actually spend your money. Uh, sorry, you're more likely to save your money, I should say, rather than spend it. OK, workers may uh, for businesses then. Well, workers are going to demand wage increases uh, so that their uh, so their purchasing power doesn't change. So if inflation is, say, for example, at two percent, workers may demand a two percent wage increase so that they can still buy the same amount of stuff as they could before. This, therefore, is going to increase the cost to a business, which in turn lowers the profit, lowers its profits. Mm -hmm. Business may not be able to expand as it costs too much to be able to expand, so they may not be able to grow as the way they want to. The cost of raw materials, i.e. the stuff that they use to actually make the goods, um, so these costs of the raw materials could potentially increase. There'll be maybe less competitive uh, than rival firms in countries uh, with lower inflation. So, basically, firms in other countries um, with lower inflation rates may become more competitive than you are because they're able to sell their goods at a lower price. This would make it harder to export their goods into international markets. So if inflation is quite high in a country, a business is not going to be able to sell their goods out into other countries. For the economy as a whole then, well, Irish goods will be more difficult to sell abroad for the reasons we just discussed. Imports may become cheaper, making it harder for Irish firms to compete. Imports is when we bring goods into the country from abroad. So if imports are uh, become cheaper than goods produced in the country itself, then Irish firms aren't going to be able to compete with that and that's going to lead to more job losses. Government spending may have to increase due to rising costs and increased social welfare payments. So the government also has to buy stuff as well and if the cost of doing business increases in the country as a whole, well then obviously the cost for the businesses, so for government departments are going to increase as well. Also, if people are losing their jobs, that means that they're not paying income tax, but instead they're going to have to receive social welfare payments instead. So folks, that brings us to the end of this lesson, where we've learned about what the causes of inflation are, the benefits of low inflation, the dangers of high inflation, and the impact of inflation on individuals, business, and the economy. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, if you enjoyed this video, why not give the video a like, and of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching. See you now, folks. Bye-bye.